there, today we're talking about one of my favorite topics. It is the most important asset that you actually have in your business. And if you have a relationship-driven business, meaning you work with clients day-to-day, face-to-face, and your livelihood depends on the relationship that you're building with them and the experience that you're creating, it might surprise you to find out that that asset is not your email list. It's actually your network. I'm Tanya Rainier. I am a relationship marketing expert and success coach, and I wanna share with you today how I took my business from zero to six figures without ever spending a dollar on marketing or advertising and without ever building an email list. So what is a network, really? Simply put, it's the people you know. It's your first generation connections. It's your friends, your family members, your neighbors, your immediate community, the people that you have access to at the the dial of a phone number or the by just typing in their email address. They're the people that if they hear your name, they'll know who you are. Here's the key though. These are not the people you sell to. These are not your clients. And I will touch on that and explain why that is in a completely different video. But right now, just know that these are not the people that you are going to be selling to. These are the the people that you are going to leverage to expand your circle and build a referral network. So how do you do that? How do you build a referral network out of the people you know? Well, First of all, you have to make a list of those people. You have to know who those people are. You know way more people than you think you do. Like, way more, I promise you. They just don't come to mind right away when you start to think about them and brainstorm them. So I've created a freebie for you that you can download. It is my master network list to help you brainstorm through those people and start like writing them down so you really kind of get to know who is in your network. And if you're missing somebody in any of those things, just be on the lookout for for them so that you can fill them in when the time comes. So once you have that list, then what? Well, you wanna make sure that everybody on that list knows who you are and what you do. They can't necessarily go out and sell your services to other people by telling them about them. They can't refer you to people if they don't know what you do. So make sure that they fully understand that. Make sure that you're able to explain it in a way that makes sense to them. Third, make sure that they understand on a personal level what it is that you do. Not just, you know, like the rough around the edges version. They need to understand the experience. If you offer an experience, which I'm sure you do, you're a service-based business, From the beginning, the moment that a client hears your name and starts communicating with you or or looks on your website or first gets in contact with you all the way beyond when you work with them and after, you're creating an experience with them. So the people on your referral network need to know what that experience is like so that when they're telling somebody about you, they can communicate that experience. They can say, oh my gosh, I've worked with her and she's not like other people. This is what she does. And this is how she made me feel. And this is how she helped me. And this is how she's gonna help you. And that's what you want. You want to make sure that they understand that. So it's not that everybody on that list is going to be the perfect fit for experiencing your service, but there are gonna be people on there that are. So once you have that master list down, I want you to go back over it and star all the people that serve the same audience as you. The people that serve your ideal client. Make sure that you know who they are and identify those. Those are your key players on that network list. And then go to them and say, look, I really think that I can give value to your your customers, to the people that you serve. And I would like to show you how and offer them a free version of your service if that's possible. Demo it for them, invite them on a call with you. Whatever it is that you need to do to make sure that they understand that experience, the better. 
And if they feel that they can benefit their audience or their clientele by sharing what it is that you do, sharing your name, your phone number, they're going to. I've built my business that way. I have a referral network that rocks because they know that by giving my name to their customers, that they are doing them a service. They're getting value and they're confident in what it is that I deliver. And you can do the exact same thing and it's just that easy. So make sure you grab your freebie, download that and make your referral list. And if you have any questions when it comes to doing this, let me know in the comments below. I will answer anything I can and help you build your network so that you can rock this out and start building your business on warm, loyal leads, people that know what you do and know what you're about before you've ever made contact with them. And it is going to skyrocket things for you. So let me know how that works. If you wanna get in touch with me, leave me a message. And also make sure you let me know how this works for you in the comments below. I'll see you in the next video.